today I will show you how to make the map zoom effect. For more tutorials, make sure to subscribe and without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Download and open Google Earth Pro. Grab the left edge and extend it so you have more place. Also make sure to uncheck all the boxes, especially if your PC is laggy. Then go up to search and choose your first location. I will go for the Empire State and click search. After you get there, search for your second location, for example, Central Park, and search again. After you get there, click on History, and you should see both places down here. Now, go to your screen recorder and start it. I am already filming, so let's go on the first place, wait around 2 seconds, and then go to the second location. If this lags, make sure to do it a couple of times. As you saw, there was a little lag, so I will go back and try again. Now it was much smoother. So after that, go to your screen recorder and stop it. Import the video back in Filmora and place it on the timeline. Right click on it and go to crop and zoom. Make sure the ratio is 16 by 9 and cut to see only the map, so let's make it smaller. Avoid the things on the side. After that is done, press OK. Now this is what we will work with. First we will cut when the video starts zooming out, so let's extend the timeline and find that place. So it's about here. Cut and also find the point where the zooming stops. So about here. Cut that. We want the movement to be a little faster. So select the middle part, go to speed, fast, and make it two times faster. Extend the timeline again. Now go to titles, add the default one on the second layer, and cut so it matches the first part. So about here, cut the title and remove the other part. Click on it, and go to advanced. Select the text and delete it. Then go to add shape. Add the circle one, delete the text, scroll down, we will change the shape field to blue, and also the shape border to white. Let's increase the size to around 5, and lower the shape field opacity, so we can see through it. I will leave it around 70. Make the circle smaller, and place it on top of the location. Then go to animation, scroll down, we will use this one. And now add the title. Go back to customize and type the name of the place. Empire State. You can also change the font and the size if you want. I will go with impact. And I will place it on the bottom. I will also change the text border to black. So it stands out more. And I am happy with this. Let's add the same animation to the title. And we are done with the first part, so press OK. I also want the circle to glow, so I will lock the first, copy the title, and also lock the second layer. Let's paste it on top of it. Click on it, go to advanced, delete the title, then click on the circle. Scroll down, lower the shape field opacity to 0, go to shape border, and increase the blur. Also the size to around 15. Then go to animation and choose fade 1. Make sure these two points connect in the middle. So like this. After that is on press ok. Now this is how it will look. Then we have to do the same thing at the end. I will copy the same text. And paste there. Click on it. Go to advanced. Change the size of the circle. Place it where you want, and also change the text. So central park. Adjust the placement of the text, and you are almost done. Press OK, copy the title, lock the second layer, and paste it right on top. So now we will add the glow. Click on it and go to advanced. Do the same as before, delete the title, click on the circle, scroll down, lower the shape field opacity to 0 and increase the blur and the size to 15. Then go to animation, add the fade 1 animation, meet the two points in the middle, and press OK. 
And this is the final result. For more tips and tricks, make sure to watch this other video.